three, two, one, zero. Mission, lift off. Artemis 1 will lift off from launch pad 39B at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida with 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust provided by the most powerful rocket in the world, our Space Launch System rocket, or SLS. The uncrewed flight will be the first integrated test of SLS, our new Orion spacecraft and exploration ground systems at Kennedy. Artemis 1 will send Orion beyond the moon, 280,000 miles from Earth, farther than any human spacecraft has ever flown. This is not NASA doing this. This is the United States of America doing this, this program, the Artemis program. And there are companies all across our country that have a part in it. So there is kind of this wave of excitement being generated just by saying, we're going back to the moon. After the upper stage of the rocket separates from Orion, the upper stage will deploy small satellites over several days to perform science experiments and technology demonstrations. Orion will make its multi-day outbound trip to the moon, propelled by a service module provided by the European Space Agency. Engineers will test Orion's systems on the way to the moon. Then, Orion will fly about 60 miles above the lunar surface, using the moon's gravity and engines on the service module to enter a lunar orbit. After about a month and a total distance of over a million miles, Orion will return home faster and hotter than any spacecraft has before. A primary goal of Artemis 1, ensure Orion safely returns to Earth before we fly with humans. When we do, we'll build our capability for sustainable lunar exploration, preparing us for missions farther into the solar system. Initially, what we'd like to do is start establishing a presence on the moon. So we're going to establish going back there on a regular basis, and then we'll end up setting up Gateway, and we would launch to the Gateway, and from Gateway, land on the surface of the moon. We are there for, you know, weeks, months on end, and there we're going to be able to test out all the hardware and the habitats and the hatches and the suits and the rovers that will allow us to prove out those technologies. The moon will lead the way to Mars and we should be there within the next couple of decades.